same spot. So I thought we'd start in table position and do some cats to start with. And then I thought we'd move on from there. So knees under your hips, feet straight back, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And remember, come up on your fingertips, get the knuckles down, the base of the fingers, the palms, the whole bottom of your hand, thinking down and supporting shoulders right above your wrists. And remember, you can circle your wrists anytime you need to, to get the circulation going. So just pick it up and circle. Or you can, if it gets too bad, thumb inside, little gentle fist with the wing part of your fingers down, slide the finger, the uh, ring to the back if you need to. So, Bottom ribs up, support your lower back, chest toward your thumbs, so you're not hunching up in your upper back, and get your back nice and straight to start with. And then we'll do our usual forward bend, backward bend, side to side, and twists for our warm up but in cat. So inhale, and ribs down toward the floor, sitting bones up, looking forward, just coming into that back bend, wherever it feels right in your spine. And then exhale, sitting bones down, lift up through the ribs, tuck the chin in towards your chest, and just lift into the forward bend. And then start with the sitting bones, push them back, drop down into the back bend, coming all the way to the top of the head, going into the back bend. And then exhaling, starting with the sitting bones again, round into the forward bend. And just continue through that range of motion, starting at the tailbone, sitting bones, and ending up at the head each time. Exhaling into the forward bend, inhaling into the backward bend. And just get that spine moving, stretching out, and allowing that circulation to increase. And then come back to table position, get your back nice and flat again, support with the ribs up toward your spine. And then turn and look over one shoulder, looking back toward your foot, and see if you can see it coming into that lateral stretch. So just a gentle side stretch, ribs opening on that side you're moving away from. And then back to the center, stretch long, and exhale, turn to the other side. And again, see if you can see your foot behind you, but don't go too far. So hip and shoulder a little closer on that side, you're turning toward. And then again, back to the center. You just feel the sides a little bit more open. And then we'll do our gentle twist. So slide one hand forward, elbow down, plant that hand right in front of your shoulder and then slide the shoulder up toward your hand and rotate and look toward the other shoulder or further up toward the ceiling. So remember, sitting bones and crown reach away from you, each other as you go into your twist. And then exhale, turn your face back toward the floor and slide your hand back under your shoulder. So feel that twist and get ready for the other side. So nice straight spine. Slide your hand forward, elbow right under your shoulder, and then push that shoulder forward, getting that length through your back. And then exhale, rotate, looking toward the other shoulder or further up toward the ceiling. So as much twist as your body wants, just breathe, sitting bones back, crown forward. And then again, face toward the floor, slide back up into table. And take a moment, you can circle your wrists anytime you want to. And then sink back, hips toward your heels, forehead down, get a good stretch through that upper body. And then inhale, and again, back up into table position. So a little balance for us. Get that core active, so ribs up toward your spine, then toward your heart getting that lower back nice and supported. 
chest a little bit, maybe towards your thumbs. Don't touch the shoulders. And crown and sitting bones away from each other. And then right foot back up to hip level. Stretch it out through the base of the toes. Keep the chest and hips both toward the floor. And then opposite arm up, stretch it forward and find your balance. So arm near your ear, leg at hip level, stretch the fingers and toes away from each other. Nice long body. And then hand back down, knee back to the floor. And again, just feel what's going on through your spine and we'll balance the other way. Core active, supporting you, and left foot back and up to hip level, stretch it out. And then the opposite arm, right arm out in front. So arm next to your ear, foot at hip level, stretch long, breathe, keep that lower back supported with the core. Hand to the floor and knee back down. And again, just hips back towards your heels, release and circle your wrists and a little circulation going. And then we're going to back the hands a little wider, pivot up, and we're going to drop the hips and roll all the way onto our belly. And rest in crocodile, hips just sinking, shoulders down, hands, palms up, head to one side, just relax. And then on an exhalation, head to the opposite side, stretch on the back. Just take a moment and breathe. And then bring your hands in, elbows in towards your side, palms near your head, palms down. And inhale, face forward, crown up toward the ceiling. So shoulder blades back and down, chin tucked in a little bit. Remember, your hands don't really support you, arms don't support you, just letting that help position you. Chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. Stretch the toes back hip-width apart, and chest forward and up. Take a moment there, just breathing, lengthening. Let that cobra sphinx position work for you. And then exhaling, and forehead back down to the floor. So we're going to use that cobra position, upper body position, and then we're going to do some things with the legs. So this is going to be a little bit of a low back strengthener since we all like low back work every once in a while. So again, forehead on the floor, hands next to your head, elbows into your side, kind of pull back on the elbows a little bit. Inhale, face forward, crown up, tuck in the chin, chest forward and up. Feet hip width apart, stretch it back. And then we're going to bend the right knee, bring the toes up toward the seat. So just chest forward and up, only as high as you want to be. The higher your chest is up, the more you'll feel in your lower back. So if it's too much, just bring that upper body slightly back. And then exhale, foot to the floor, and forehead back to the floor. Take a moment, just breathe. And again. Arms staying in place, inhaling, face forward, crown up, chin tucking in, and stretch the feet back. Left foot is your focus, hip width apart with the feet as you bring that foot up toward the ceiling with the knee bend. So knee bend, toes straight up from the knee as much as you can. Chest forward and up, only as high as feels right for your back. And then exhaling, foot back down, take another breath. Exhale, upper body down. So take a moment there, breathe and relax. And then inhaling, face forward, crown up. Tuck the chin back in, shoulder blades towards your waist, chest forward and up. Upper body position, however high you like to be. Feet hip width apart, stretch the back, bend both knees, and bring both toes up straight toward the ceiling. So as you get into your position, if that's too much, just lower your upper body a little bit. Stretch through the whole length of your spine. 
and then exhaling, feet back to the floor. Exhale, forehead down. And then slide the hands back under your shoulders. And again, push back into child's pose. So we're gonna do a sequence of these and it's gonna get incrementally more challenging for your lower back. So at any point you're going, eh, that's way more than I needed in my lower back. You know, just lower your upper body more or go back to one of the previous versions of what we do with the leg. Because as we do a little bit more each time with the legs, it gets more intense in the lower back. So always personal practice, do what's right for you. So once again, we're just gonna bring the hands out, pivot up, roll your body down onto the floor, and start with a little resting crocodile, getting everything released and relaxed. Hip width apart with the feet. Exhaling, head to the other side, shoulders coming down, just a nice stretch through that upper back. And then rotating your face, forehead to the floor, bring your hands in, elbows by your side, hands at your temples, palms down. Inhale, face forward, crown up, chest forward, chin in, shoulder blades down, upper body starting place. Stretch those toes back. And then again, we're gonna start with the right foot and bend the knee, just like we did before. So stretching out through the base of the toes, bending the knee, foot right above the knee as much as you can. Now, if you feel that you can go further, lift the knee off the floor just a little bit. So toes further up toward the ceiling, both hips staying on the floor, ribs still on the floor. Take a breath and exhale, knee back down and foot to the floor. Exhale, forehead back all the way to the floor. Take a moment, just adjust anything that needs adjusting. And again, inhale, face forward, crown toward the ceiling. Chin in, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, upper body position as high as you'd like. Stretch the left toes back, bend the knee, toes right above the knee as much as is right for your body. And again, if and when you're ready, lift that knee a little bit, bringing the toes higher toward the ceiling. Chest forward and up, crown high, keep breathing. And exhale, knee down, foot to the floor. Take another breath and exhale, upper body down. So take a moment, breathing, relaxing, feet hip width apart. And we'll do both together. It's going to be more intense. So remember, don't lift the knees if that feels like something you should not do. Once more, inhale, face forward, crown up. Pull those elbows in just slightly, chest forward and up, crown to the ceiling. Lower if you need to, upper with the crown high if you want. So wherever your upper body is, just relax. Remember, not a lot of pressure in those arms. Toes straight back and bend the toes or bend the knees, toes up toward the ceiling. Stay there if that's plenty or lift the knees a little bit higher off the floor. Remember, it's gonna be more intense. Lower your upper body or bring those knees back down if you need to. Take a breath. Exhale, knees down, feet to the floor. Another breath and exhale your upper body down. When your forehead touches, just relax. And then hands under your shoulders. And again, back and into child's pose. So a nice, Forward well, we bend, where we were back bending through that spine. Just relax. Deep breaths. And we are incrementally going a little further. So once again, we're going to start in that same starting position. So arms to the front, sides of the mat, pivoting up, rolling all the way into resting crocodile. Head to one side, shoulders down. Just relax through that lower back. Exhale, head to the opposite side. Just take a moment and breathe. 
And then again, forehead to the floor. Hands in next to your face, elbows in next to your torso. And inhale, face forward, crown up. Chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. Upper body starting position, chin a little bit toward your chest. Don't let that neck get too crunched. Stretch the legs out, hip width apart. We're gonna keep the knees straight this time. So keep stretching out through that left leg and bring it up as far as it wants to go. As you keep both hips on the floor and that chest reaching forward and the crown high. So remember, lower the upper body if you need to. Otherwise, just maximize whatever's right for your body. And then lower that leg and exhale the upper body down. Take a moment and breathe. Let the shoulders kind of drop a little bit, give you a good stretch. And one more time, face forward, crown up, upper body position. Breathing, chest forward, shoulders down, chin tight. And once more, stretch the legs back, keep the knees straight, and raise that left leg up. So keep stretching out, lift the leg only as high as it wants to go, and again, lower that upper body if you need to. Take a breath, and exhale, foot down, and exhale again, upper body. Take a moment there, just relax. Take a few breaths. And of course, we're gonna do both legs together. It will be more intense. So don't do it if it's not right for your body. Once again, just go back to the bent knee version or just leave the legs on the floor. It's all up to you. Inhale, face forward, crown up, pull the elbows back, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, chin in. Crown reaching away, toes stretching back, both legs straight, and lift both feet off the floor only as far as they want to go. So chest forward, head up, feet lifting. If you need to lower them anytime, feel free to do that as well. Take one more breath, maybe a little higher with everything, and exhale the feet. Another breath, and exhale the upper body. Just relax. And again, hands under your shoulders, and press back into a nice forward bend, child's pose. Bring those knees together if you want extra stretch in that lower back. Deep breath, exhale, relax. And then sitting up on your heels, we're going to come into staff position. So feet hip width apart, press out through the bottoms of your feet, up through the crown. And then we're going to roll onto our backs. So core activated and just slowly rolling all the way. To the floor. Hands at your sides, relax in corpse position for that little reclined integration, and let your shoulders sink toward the floor. So we're going to press the back down, sitting on slightly towards your heels, and then bend your knees and bring the heels in next to your hips, right by your sitting bones. And then sitting bones a little further towards your heels and whole spine pressing down. Just allow that core to activate and press way down. And then turn your hands, palms up. Lift your heart toward the ceiling, heart and chin toward the ceiling, lifting your upper body. So your shoulder blades will still be on the floor and you're reaching your fingers toward your toes. And lifting your heart toward the ceiling. If that's too much on your neck, you can always bring your hands instead behind your head, just giving a little support, but not pushing on it. And then exhale and lower your upper body. Take a moment, just relaxing. And 
And then we're going to straighten one leg. So keep one knee bent and straighten the other leg. And again, sitting bones towards your heels, back pressing down, hands, palms up at your sides. And lift your heart, chin and chest bleeding, coming up off the floor with your upper leg. Hands reaching toward that foot that you've extended away. Chest up, take a breath, maximize that lift, and then exhaling, lower your upper body and relax. Bend your left knee or whichever one would straighten, bring it back in, and slide that other leg up. Again, take a moment there, shoulders down, just relaxing. Feel that core a little bit more activated. And again, sitting bones toward your heels, and hands are reaching that way. Lift your heart. So knee is straight up, the other leg is knee up, toes up toward the ceiling as you lift that chest and chin straight toward the ceiling. Fingertips reaching toward that extended leg. Take a breath, lift a little higher maybe. Feel the core and exhale, upper body down. And this time straighten both legs and relax. So feel the core. Let it release a little bit as you're in your reclined integration. And of course, with both legs straight, we're gonna do one more core work. So sitting bones towards your heels, hands, palms up at your sides. And again, lift that heart and chin, shoulder blades towards your waist, and shoulders, ribs still on the floor. Reach your hands towards your toes, Maximize or minimize. Remember, it's always your choice how far you go. Reaching your hands towards your feet and your chest and chin toward the ceiling. Chin just tucked in a little bit so you're not overworking that neck area. Stretch the fingertips out. Lift your heart maybe a little higher and then slowly exhale back down. Take a moment there, just breathing and relaxing. And then bring your hands up overhead, if you can. And stretch long. And then we're gonna bring the hands right above your chest. And then leading with your heart, lift your body up and reach for your toes. Good stretch along the back. And sitting back up, just take a moment in corpse position. Feel the core. And we're going to roll slowly back down one more time onto our backs. Sitting bones towards your heels as you get down, bend your knees, heels in. Sitting bones again a little further towards your heels so you're really connected through that back. Bring your knees in, hug them in. You can bring your forehead up towards your legs if you want. Do a good stretch in that forward bend. And then head down, hands down, feet down. Take a moment there, breathe and relax. And then we're going to again keep the sitting bones going toward the heels. Hold back of your body down, core pulling in, ribs toward the floor. And then slide the sitting bones back as you arch up, ribs toward the ceiling, shoulder blades down. So you've got a space under your lower back and then exhale that lower back down, sliding the sitting bones towards your heels, getting that whole back of your body connected, core pulling way down to the floor and then inhaling and into that arch, back bend through that lower back. Again, from the shoulder blades to the sitting bones and a few arches. And again, slide the sitting bones towards your heels Get the whole back connected. Inhale, lift, arching up. Now one more time, slide it down. Get really connected. And inhale, arch up. 
and planning. Words back down, sitting bones towards your heels, spine connected. Pull those ribs down toward the floor. Take a moment and relax. <laughs> oh, we're having a little operation here from the from the printer. I thought maybe the whole ceiling was going to collapse on us. <laughs> so just breathe and relax as you come into that neutral position with your spine. And then we got to bring our arms up to the sides for our twists, sitting bones towards your heels, feet up off the floor. And we're going to roll to one side, turn your head to the opposite side. Take a moment and breathe, just relaxing. Remember, you can put your feet on the floor if you need to. Bring your knees up toward your elbow if you want a little extra lower back stretch. Keep that head turning toward your opposite arm. And then heels back toward your hips, roll onto your back. You can bring your feet to the floor if you want to, or you can keep them up. And we'll twist to the opposite side. So rolling your knees over, turn your head the opposite direction, and relax. Oh, he's sort of... You're about to run out of time, that looks like. And then knees toward your elbow, if you like that extra low back stretch, head still turning, keep those shoulders down. And heels back towards your hips, roll onto your back, feet to the floor. Feel that spine nice and energized. And we're going to cross the leg over the other one and do one more twist before our final relaxation. So rolling your knee over to the side, turn your head to the opposite side. And again, shoulders stay down. That knee may not make it to the floor, that's okay. Just do what's right for your body. Head turning, neck and shoulder twist, shoulders down, middle back twist, and that knee can come as far toward the floor as it feels right for your lower back. We did quite a bit of lower back work again today, so just release and relax it. It doesn't need to go too far. And then taking a breath, again, heel towards your hips as you roll onto your back. Bone cross the leg if you want to. And we'll do the other side. So again, sitting bones towards your heels and cross the leg. Shoulders and shoulder blades down. Hands, palms up or down, your choice. And knee rolling over the other direction. Head turning toward that arm behind you. And again, just maximize for your body in the lower back, middle back, upper back. Take a breath. Just relax. And again, always personal practice, maximizing or minimizing, letting that knee come down as far as it wants or not. And then heel back towards your hips, rolling again onto your back, uncrossing the legs, and just slide them out. Hands near your sides, palms up, shoulders down into corpse position for a relaxation. So deep breath in, exhale, just let your body sink into that surface beneath you. Let your belly move as you breathe. Let any tension drain out of your muscles, out of your body. Shoulders relaxing. Legs relaxing, especially that hip pelvis and the lower back of the hip sinking and softening. Belly moving as you breathe. Exhaling tension. Just let your body grow heavy. Sink deeper into that earth surface. That mother earth support. As your body relaxes, just let it keep deepening into that openness, heavy, soft, gently sinking. And with each breath, 
just release awareness of your body, allowing awareness of your mind to also release any content of your thoughts. As you let your body go, other thoughts will come to your mind. It's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts, but it's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, you don't need to remember the past. You don't need to anticipate the future. Just let each thought drift out as easily as it drifts in, just like your breath, flowing freely in and out without attention. As your body relaxes and your mind drifts more freely, allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind, focusing and that peace within. Let the peace fill your body, fill your mind, and just be peace. And if you'd like to keep relaxing, feel free to do that as long as it feels right for you today. Otherwise, begin breathing more deeply, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body. Just begin moving and stretching gently as you become ready. And as you breathe more deeply, stretch more fully, getting ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation. And when you're ready, sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, draw your heels toward your hips and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around however feels right for you for that yoga hug of appreciation. And when you're ready to release, feet to the floor, rolling over to the side, sitting back up. Getting ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.